One day I was meditating and the Holy Ghost dropped this revelation in my spirit. He told me, he said, boy, did you know it was not the stone of David that killed Goliath? I was shocked. Truly. He said, hundreds of stones of David cannot bring Goliath down. Sit back. Don't touch the die. I will be sharing in this broadcast what really killed Goliath. Welcome to Apostolic Church broadcast on AGN television. This is Apostle Lawrence Bamilo. You see, I have come to understand that the spirit controls the physical in everything, in all we do. Though some people naturally take advantage of this and become lazy when they suddenly become over spiritual and over every responsibility to the supernatural. No, there is a place of your part and there is a place of the supernatural. But there is no way you can be so smart and outsmart the supernatural. So this day I was meditating, then the Holy Spirit ministered to me and said, boy, did you really know what killed Goliath? So quickly I responded. I said, yes, Lord, David picked stone and then he fling it. And the Holy Spirit said, boy, hundreds of stones of David couldn't have brought Goliath down because Goliath was so fortified. And look at it. Truly, David fling the stone and then the stone eat Goliath. If it were to be first of the stone of David that killed Goliath, just like the first of a bullet from a pistol or from a gun was supposed to throw Goliath off balance and he should have fell backward. So what killed Goliath? What killed Goliath of God was more than a stone. In the next broadcast, I will deal more with this, how God used David's skills to kill Goliath. But in this broadcast, I want to teach you how God can back you up to win a battle. Truly, God used the stone, but it was not the stone that actually killed Goliath. In 1 Samuel 17, 49, And David put his hand in his bag and took thence a stone and slung it and smote the Philistine in his forehead that the stone sunk into his forehead. And he fell upon his face to the earth. You know the meaning. There was a supernatural hand behind that pushed Goliath down. When the force of that hand hit him, then he fell down to his face. So will you agree that it was what was behind David that killed Goliath? It was not David. It was not David's stone. So David cannot glory in the stone. And David cannot glory in his skill. What is it that you are facing? If you will promise that you will not touch God's glory, what is the battle of your life like? What are you passing through currently? Is it this case of this barrenness, this diagnosed sickness? Is it these children that is not behaving very well? Is it your children's academic performance? Is it your health? Is it your family health? Is it your business? What is the battle in front of you? As God has promised that this is our season of unstoppable victory, I see the hand of God coming into your matter. Will you invite the same hand of God? You have done all you could and this Goliath is still standing. You have done all human relation and the Goliath fighting your marriage is still standing. This mother-in-law, this father-in-law, this in-law are still a pain in the house. They are still standing as Goliath. This evil man that is killing people in your family is still standing despite all that you have done. You have sown seed, you have given love offering, you have given a mission seed, you have reached out to the less privileged, you have done all you knew to do and this Goliath is still standing. Stretch forth your two hand. Every Goliath still standing. When you have done all you are supposed to do, Master Baraste Pekotilia Barande Kotia Lakatasha, and the Parikita Negatustea, I move the hand of God on your behalf. This Goliath will be striking right now. This Goliath is coming down. I ask the Lord to kill every killer. Any devil that will not let you rest, I ask the Lord to lay them to rest. This Goliath comes down. I move the hand of God in your matter right now. Will you open your mouth and say, Father, I make demand on this open heaven and I demand your hand, O Lord, according to your servant. Let your hand move this matter. Let me see your hand over this matter. Let me see your hand. Let it be very obvious that you alone should take the glory over this court case, over this battle, over this matter. What battle are you facing? Who is this Goliath that is still standing 
when you have done all you need to do, and this Goliath is still standing, I move the hand of God on your behalf right now. In the name of Jesus, this Goliath is coming down. In the name of Jesus, and you will testify. Let me quickly round up by telling you this. There are things that you can do that can move the hand of God in any battle. Sometimes it may not be prayer. Sometimes it goes beyond fasting. Then what could it be? Let me give you three secrets that can move the hand of God in any battle. Number one, when you enthrone the man of war himself in your life, when you invite Jesus to be your Lord and Savior. But somebody want to say, Apostle, I've given my life to Jesus. I'm a child of God. Maybe there is still area of your life you have not totally permitted Jesus to be the king that is in charge. And you see Jesus is a gentle spirit. If you do not hand over totally to him, he may not be in total control of your life. I will give you the opportunity to hand over your life properly to the Lord Jesus Christ. So put your right hand on your chest right now as a sign of surrender. Say, dear Lord Jesus, I hand over the totality of my life to you. I am a sinner. I need your mercy. I need your forgiveness. I need you to come and take over this battle for me. Jesus, I give you my total life. Every aspect of my life, it's now in your hand. You are now the new manager of this, my life. You created me and I give my life back to you. From today, I will follow your instruction. I will do your will. I will not go back my old ways. Thank you for forgiving me. In Jesus' name I pray. I ask the Lord to show you mercy right now. Let his blood wash your sins and every guilt of sins disappear in your heart. I see an homosexual pray this same prayer right now. Just avoid that your partner. I release grace for your decision to stand in the name of Jesus. Number two, to move the hand of God in your battle after you have given your life. That is what we call battle seed. See, that is one king that didn't know God at all. The Israelite was about to waste him and waste his people. He picked his heir to the throne, the prince, and he slaughtered the prince. The Bible says when God saw that level of sacrifice, God Almighty turned his back against the Israelite, his own people. Imagine God turned against Israelite and the battle overpowered the Israelite until they fled. If God can turn against his own people because an unbeliever gave a seed, you should know the mystery, the power of sacrifice. Every altar is speaking because there is a sacrifice, there is a constant sacrifice on the altar. Most of the time, God doesn't need your money. He's only looking for your level of obedience. If you will give a sacrificial offering, if you will give a sacrificial seed to the Lord, it is called Batusi. If there is anything, barrenness, you discover that, that this barrenness is lingering too long. You discover that this sickness is lingering too long. Whenever you rise and give to the Lord, then the battle goes down. A man sometimes ago was battling post-trait cancer. According to him, I didn't know. He said, sir, I sent a seed of about $25 to the ministry account. And I went back to the doctor. I saw miracles, sir. Thank you for answering God's call. I was so surprised. He said, the doctor was shocked. He said, I'm seeing miracle here. The post-trait cancer is gone. Jesus can use any means to fight a battle. If you think you have done all you are supposed to do and this battle is still standing, get a battle seed. With that, you can provoke the hand of God over your matter. As you do these two things, I will hear your testimony. And the last thing you can do is to win a soul. You can win a soul by going out for evangelism or by sending a mission seed to ministry that you know that major in soul winning. I see the hand of the Lord fighting your battle. I see this battle coming down by the reason of the anointing. I stand on the covenant of the apostolic grace that every battles in your life, they go down as you follow these instructions in the name of Jesus. I will see you in the next broadcast. I release apostolic blessing upon all you, the partners, all of you that give a mission seed for us to win soul and reach across the world. I'm glad to tell you our broadcast is now covering Australia continent. It's covering North America. It's covering South America. We have entered Asia. We are covering Africa. And then, of course, we are covering Europe as well. 
to the glory of God through your love gift of talking with the abundance in Christ here. Jesus Christ is reigning across the continent. And we are glad from other religions, people send a message and giving their life to Jesus. You can be one of these partners who give committedly as they have to the mission work. And I prophesy as you give to the Lord, maybe the Lord is prompting you to give a battle seed or a soul winning seed. As you obey the Lord, I prophesy your heaven open and this Goliath comes down in Jesus' name. Use the information on your screen or send a message requesting for the account number to give your mission seed or battle seed. Your battle is coming down. I will see you in the next broadcast. By then, your testimony will humble everyone that hears in Jesus' name. See you then. Thank you for being part of this broadcast. This broadcast was brought to you by the continuous giving of friends and partners of Apostolic Grace Network Africa. To join the AGN Air Force, please visit apostolicgracenetwork.org or call 234-708-222-0300. Until next time, God bless you.